Welcome second graders. And today is Math Meets Literacy Wednesday. Our book today covers SOL 2.2a, count forward by twos, fives and tens to 120, starting at various multiples of two, five or 10. By the end of this book, you should be able to skip count, group and sort objects by twos, fives and tens using the illustration and text. The title of our book today is Counting Coconuts. Enjoy. Counting Coconuts by Wendy Salvando and illustrated by Marty Granius. Deep in the rainforest, Monkey was happily counting his coconuts. He had carefully gathered them one by one. He was sure he must have 100 by now. One, two, three, four, five, he began. One, uno. Boa slithered down out of an upper branch. I will take, it will take you forever to count all of those coconuts that way, he said. You should count by twos. It will be much faster. Are you sure, asked Monkey? Absolutely, his boa. Just put them in, into pairs and count each pair. So Monkey sorted all of his coconuts into pairs. It took him a while, but finally he was ready to count again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, two. In Spanish is dos. No, 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 hollered McCall from across the way. That is much too slow a way to count so many coconuts. Surely it will go much faster if you count them by threes. Are you quite sure, asked Monkey. Quite, called McCall. So Monkey resorted all of his coconuts into piles of three. He was tired, but he felt he surely had saved himself a lot of time. He began to count. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, tree, tress. Monkey, dear monkey, said Sloth, hanging quietly in a nearby tree. I I'm an expert on slow. And I tell you that counting by threes is a very slow way indeed to count such an enormous pile of coconuts. You would cut your counting considerably if you would just count by fours. But sloth, moaned Monkey, I just sorted all of these coconuts into piles of three. I know, said sloth. But if you really want to save you time, save time, you will do as I say. Four, cuatro. Monkey looked at the sun high in the sky. His stomach was growling. He did want to save time. Very well, said Monkey with a sigh. I suppose you are an expert on slow. But just as Monkey began to put the coconuts into piles of four, he heard a loud uproar from behind a nearby bush. He saw a trio of tapers looking his way, laughing and chuckling. What are you laughing at? hollered Monkey. You, said one of the tapers, about to count your coconuts by fours? Any fool knows that fastest way to count is by fives. You will be counting until you are an old monkey that way. Monkey wanted to get the counting done so he could start eating his tasty coconuts. He decided that the tapers were probably right and sorted the coconuts again, this time into piles of five. Done at last, he cried. Now I can count them quickly. He began. Five, ten, fifty, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Five, cinco. 
Jaguar jumped down from a tree branch and landed right smack in the middle of the coconut piles. Coconuts rolled in every direction. Oh no, cried Monkey. My coconuts! Now I will have to start counting all over again. It will take forever. I will never get to eat. Not to worry, said Jaguar. You are lucky that you get to start over. You are counting all wrong. I am by far the wisest of all the jungle animals. If you had asked me, you would know that counting coconuts by ones, twos, threes, fours, or even fives is not the fastest way. Then what is, asked Monkey. Why tens, of course. Tens is by far the fastest way to count a large number of things. 10, Diaz. So poor tired Monkey slowly began to gather his coconuts one by one and put them into piles of 10. By the time he was done, the sun had sunk low behind the jungle trees and the night insects were buzzing and talking. Once more, Monkey began his count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. He was done. He finally counted them all. There were exactly 100 coconuts. He looked them over and carefully chose the best looking one. He cracked it open. He took a long sip of the juice and sat back. Jaguar was right. Counting by tens saved me a lot of time. Coconuts quick check. In order for you to complete this task, you will need a pencil and a sheet of paper to answer the questions. Number one, when you skip counting by twos, what sequence comes after 12? A, 14, 16, 18, 20. B, 15, 16, 17, 18. C, 14, 18, 22, 26. Or D, 14, 16, 18, 22. Number two, if monkey is going to count by fives, how many coconuts should he put in each group? 10 coconuts, five coconuts, two coconuts, or one coconut? And the last question, number three, what animal do you think gave the best advice to monkey? A, the taper, who counted by fives, B, the snake, who counted by twos, or C, the jaguar, who wanted him to count by tens, or do you think all of the above? Good job, boys and girls, on answering your quick check questions. Have a wonderful evening, and thank you for joining me. Bye.